I've cut a strip of aluminum to serve as edging on the table and I've spray painted it copper. I've taken the edging and I've hammered it in place so that it can fit over the edge like this. I've added a curtain underneath the bed here that cordons off the garage area and it's actually on two different wires so let me show you that. Uh, one wire is up here, one is at the foot and that's so that no matter what angle the van is on it will always go flush with the edge of the bed. I want to install a bookshelf down here so I've just put a piece of wood going out into under the bed over the wheel well here on which books can rest. I've added in a second support here to help support the second row of shelves. I've taken apart a wooden bookshelf to make the bottom of the bed, but the boards aren't quite wide enough, so I'm screwing two of them together to create a bigger board. I've screwed these two pieces of bookshelf together to form the foot of the bed. On this side of the bed, we have a curved shape made out of pallets, so I've begun putting boards in place to do the same on this side. All of the pallet boards are now in place, and you can see I've left a gap for the bookshelf there. Now I need to cut uh, the curve that's on this side. I've traced the curve onto a piece of cardboard, then flipped it around, and I'm using that as a guide to cut the curve on this side. Now that that shape's been cut out, it looks a lot like the other side. I am so happy this makes it look so much more complete. Now I'm able to finish that box at the foot of the bed and secure these boards together, which I've done by adding this piece of bracing here. I've put in four cup hooks here so that I can string up this net bag here. This is where my laundry is going to go and it goes quite a bit down there. So basically I will have two lids here. I'll open that side up and throw my laundry in and that goes down to about there. A lot of builds I've seen don't have a place for laundry and I know that if I don't have a place for laundry it's going to end up on the floor. So I've added two lids onto the top of the box here using those same hinges that I used for the garbage in the kitchen. That way there'll be access to clothes storage under here. And then this one will be the laundry. I was going to add a lip here, but it's so close to the edge here that I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. Like it would look funny if that sort of stuck up past this curve. So I'm thinking I won't put a lip on. I've added in a divider here between the laundry and this box here, and I've also added a bottom board there so that anything I put in here doesn't, you know, fall through. So this part here is fully functional now. I've added some paneling to the area here, which is going to be the bookshelf here. This came off of the back of the bookshelf that I took apart to make that box up there. So now I've got the sides I'm going to put in a shelf and then I'll do the backing. This cubby is looking pretty good with the second shelf and backing put in place. I've used two pieces of curtain wire to secure the books in place. You can see this example here of a school binder which is exactly what this shelf is for is for uh, school textbooks here and they can't get out because of that wire and then if I need to access a book that's on quite a bit of tension but it can just be taken off and the book removed. I've replaced the desk here and you can see that a little bit of these uh, bookshelves here do get covered by the support beam when it's in the desk position. That basically means that whatever I'm putting in there, if they're big, uh, they probably shouldn't have anything to do with uh, work I might be doing on the desk because then I'd have to disassemble the desk to access the top shelf. The bottom shelf is fine. I, I'll just won't put <laughs> the current books that I'm using right in the very corner. Most of that's still accessible. I have these two pieces of wood here which as you can see have that lip cut that's perfect for making a lip for the lids on the bottom of the bed but I still don't want it sticking up past that curve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some sort of organic shape like I did with the bookshelf where it will smoothly come up and over the edge so it's not just this harsh edge showing and I wanted to do some curves anyway but this time I'm thinking of doing something a little bit more organic. The lip is put in place and I must say I'm in love with this shape. I think it looks super, super cool. The one downside is that cutting this did get rid of the stain, so I'll have to pick up some matching stain and fix this at some point. It's not pressing though. Here you can see that it still works. I haven't uh, <laughs> made any problems for myself. In fact, I've made it easier to open because now I've got a place to actually grab onto because this overlaps a little bit. And then here in the corner, from over here you don't get that uh, straight edge that I was worried about. 
I did sort of miscalculate my curve a little bit and brought it down too far, but that's okay. I'm still really, really happy with this. This also is going to give me a place to put things. So if I'm, you know, reading a book, I can put it down here at night and I don't need to like worry about putting it away before I drive off because this lip will keep it in place. I've added in one of these bar locks on the other side of the table here, exactly like the one on this side, so that when this dining table is fully pulled out, it can be locked in place on both sides. This section of the couch, which does not house the toilet, was still very hard to open because the hinge used to be back here. Now I moved it on this side over about two inches because it made this whole thing very easy to open. So I've done the exact same thing, just cut this strip down here and added a hinge. So now this opens a little bit further out and gives more space back here for the cushion to go back into. Now the other thing that I'm working on here is I put in this piece of wood, just dividing these two places. This is going to have clothing or something like that in it. So I don't really want when I hit a corner to have my underwear and socks and whatnot flying over towards my toilet. That might be, you know, okay for some people, but uh, I'm good without it. So I'm also going to partition off so that it doesn't uh, get in the way of the power inverter. This power inverter needs five inches on the back there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another one of these going straight across here so that it just cuts it off completely. I've added in a second wall here. This is to keep uh, what clothes and whatnot from getting at the wires and into the garage and whatnot. And I have left the required gap on this side for the power inverter. I've added a shelf above the inverter. This is just going to add some extra storage space and that otherwise would have been wasted here. I've still kept within my clearances and there should still be airflow going through here. So that should be fine. And I've also added a piece here on the back so that this is completely sealed. I throw something in here and there's no chance of it going off towards the batteries. Okay, so I've added a divider in here just to sort of separate socks and underwear and that sort of thing. Here you can see that I'm about halfway through paneling off this bench. I've finished the pallet paneling on this side of the couch and I've left a hole there for the inverter. So now if we open this up, you can see that this box is fully completed and I can actually use it for storage at this point. So I've moved on to the toilet section here, and this framing piece is sort of in the way. So what I've done to each of the, uh, the paneling pieces here is I've just shaved down a portion on this side using the table saw so that when it's in place, it'll actually sit flush. And then I've also screwed in a backing piece here. There was a suggestion on one of my videos that I put a drawer underneath of this uh, stool, basically take out the stool and put a drawer. And I love that idea. But this lip here, this uh, one by one, or two by two, sorry, it makes it so that the, the drawer would be like two and a half inches, basically. So it didn't work out quite the way that I wanted. So uh, that's why I'm not going with that suggestion. Here you can see that the paneling has been finished off for the couch. And I've taken that opportunity to also give the inside of this box here a good vacuum. There's a lot of sawdust that had built up in there. The rear end of the van, fully completed. I have my added space for my books. The curves are on both sides now. I've got my curtain, the foot of the bed with my laundry and storage, and I suppose that's also a nightstand since I added the lip. And then over here having this fully hidden, you can't see the toilet anymore. That makes me very, very happy. I can't tell you how much the progress I made in today's video means to me. This area here is my living space. This is the bed, this is the couch, this is going to be where I'm spending most of my time. And my goal recently has been to get this van to a point where I can live in it. Uh, basically move in ready is what I've been calling it. And that is a point where not everything is done, not the, like I don't need to have the trim on the windows and the door and all that stuff done. 
and not even everything will be done because I'm still waiting on my countertop and uh, some of that trim require I need to do the trim before I do put in some of the uh, sockets and that kind of thing but just getting this thing to a point where I can actually go out and enjoy the great weather that we're getting and spend a little bit less time building and a little bit more time living my life and I've been having some anxiety about that um, kind of procrastinating and putting off uh, parts of this build because I don't know I just I've been so comfortable and so used to uh, working on it and spending all my time doing this uh, that now that it's getting nice and sunny out uh, ironically I've sort of slowed down and sort of not known what I'm going to do with myself after <laughs> I've finished uh, building out this van but this is going to be one of those projects that I, I feel like I'm, I'm never going to ha uh, be able to stop working on it so I need to get it to a point where I can accept that okay it's it's time for me to move in and everything else can sort of be smaller projects this is a huge huge step this was my goal so I've, I'm considering the van move in ready complete uh, there's still some things I'm gonna do of course um, add on some things that in the kitchen places to hang things and that kind of stuff but that's really really minor so uh, the next video that you see from me will probably be me bringing this down and getting it registered and putting on the plates so thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think about uh the progress on the bed and what you think about the build so far and i will see you in the next one cheers